Again, we look at a story of Jesus talking about the harvest. And this time it's with the Samaritan woman. And the Samaritan woman comes to Jesus and, and the disciples see a woman. Jesus sees a harvest field. Let's read that portion in John chapter 4, beginning at verse 31 and reading to verse 38. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him something to eat? And Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say, There are yet four months and then comes the harvest? Already the one who reaps is receiving wages and gathering fruit for eternal life so that the sower and the reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap for that which you did not labor. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. This is a wonderful story about harvest. There's so much in this passage. But as I take a look at it, the first thing that I want to help us understand is it's easy to miss the differences between the physical world we're in and the spiritual. We see easily what our world is like, and you go, they're not ready to receive Jesus. But that's the physical world. The spiritual world, Jesus is saying, it takes special eyes to see that even in the midst of a world where it doesn't look like there's a harvest, a harvest is already taking place. And Jesus is wanting us to ask for eyes to see, eyes to see what's going on around and, and to recognize when the harvest is happening. Because you see, if you looked at it with your own eyes, you would say, no, 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 it's planting season or it's waiting season and you don't recognize that it's harvest season. Can I tell you there are crops where harvest time and waiting time are side by side. Some crops are ready to be harvested. Others are still requiring that we wait. And that happens in the spiritual realm as well. There are some places and some groups of people and some individuals where we must wait. We're still waiting, but others, we must recognize when it's harvest time and we must do the harvest. So don't be confused by focusing on one group and missing the harvest time of the other. Next, we see that harvest is a family affair. Jesus says, some sow, some reap. And he says, some are already doing it and we are entering into their labor. In other words, we as a family are recognizing everybody has a job to do. And when it's harvest time, we need to all gather in and, and be part of it. Finally, that's just an understanding that we work as a team. You today, me today, God's people today, we are working as a team. So let's pray. Dear Father, as we gather together today, we ask in Jesus' name that you help us to understand we are in this as a team. And we pray as a team. We ask that we have eyes to see as a team. We ask that we not miss any of the harvest time because we think it's, it's still waiting season. It's still time to wait or it's still time to sow. Lord, when it's time to reap, may we know it and work together in Jesus' name. Amen.